Good morning. So today we're going to have a look at uh, Green Screen King in After Effects. Uh, since a lot of you guys wanted to see how I uh, did the keying for the music video Hero with uh, Relly. So uh, let's get to it. This is a relatively difficult shot because she has like translucent um, materials and stuff on her clothes. Uh, but uh, I use the same method for basically any keying, so I uh, hope you'll find this useful. Make sure that you have uh, the project set to 16-bit or higher. This will make the keying process easier uh, because you have more data to uh, play with. First things first, we're going to have to create a garbage mat. That's basically a mat that uh, erases everything that you don't want to be keyed. So the stands and lights and stuff. So using the pen tool, just draw a simple mask around the actor or uh, actress. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect, but make sure it covers all of the uh, motion that the actor will do. So if the actor like moves uh, hands and stuff, make sure that the uh, garbage mask uh, covers that. Good. The first thing we'll do is like to um, uh, erase as much as the green spill as we can on the white and we'll do that using uh, Lumetri actually which is very handy to do so so right click and go to new adjustment layer and we'll call this color correction green tint because we'll remove the green tint from the white go over to the right and search for Lumetri and apply to the clip. So if you toggle down curves and scroll all the way down, you'll see something that's called saturation versus saturation. And to the left of the bar is colors that are less saturated and to the right there are more saturation. Uh, so if you just do a curve like this one, um, you can see when I move this around that it affects the saturation of the colors. <clears throat> but just um, just leave the curve something like shown here. And you will make basically the white whiter and leave the other colors alone. So that's basically what it does. So you can see probably a small, small uh, tweak to the white on her legs and shoes which basically removes the, yeah, the green tint from the uh, reflections in the white, basically. Yeah. So one of the main issues uh, new beginners do to keying is that they try to key everything with just one key. You'll get a much more better looking result if you use multiple. So what we'll do in this one is that we're going to key out the light green and then the dark green uh, separates. So go to new adjustment layer. We'll call this key light underscore light. And then search for key light in the effect panel and apply it to the clip. And first change the final result to intermediate result. And what this is, uh, it's basically the same setting, just that final result, um, final result applies a spill suppression, which we don't want, we want to do it ourselves uh, later down the road. So um, yeah, that's basically the main difference, uh, what I've found at least. So um, for the color, Choose a green color, preferably near uh, the actor or actress. You can see like most of the green already disappears, but if you click down here and show channel and then the alpha channel, you'll see that yeah, it removed some of the green, but we still have lots of green left, especially in the dark areas and the less saturated green areas. Uh, for screen gain, you don't want to go too high, uh, never above 110%. I would leave it at probably at around 104 and 
or 105. Toggle down screen mat and just increase it a bit. Maybe, probably like 5% works. And then click white. Don't go too far either, so 90% pro probably. Yeah, next up is the uh, key for the dark green. So new adjustment layer. Name this key light underscore dark and apply a new key light to it. Then once again change the uh, view from final to intermediate. And uh, yeah, before we uh, pick the color, go back to RGB so we can actually see what we're doing. Um, and then select the, uh, you can see here, uh, the dark green. And using two keys without doing like any adjustments, you get almost, almost uh, a good key. So using multiple keys is, yeah, <laughs> using multiple keys is the key to get a clean key, if that makes sense. So we'll do some minor tweaks to this one. Um, probably lower the clip white, as you can see on her leg. Uh, we have some uh, trouble areas with the transparency, but we're going to fix that uh, very soon, so uh, don't mind that. But uh, other than that, you don't actually have to do that many tweaks to the key light effect. So go to new adjustment layer, and uh, this time we'll uh, clean up the key a bit. So uh, name this choker underscore cleaner and for this we're we're going to use an effect called simple choker and what this does is basically it just sh shrinks the mat so increase the uh, value to something like 0 0.5 or 0 0.7 and this will have minimal effects right now but it will increase the uh, the key down the road and then go to effects again and search for key cleaner. This is one of my uh, favorite tools. And right off the bat, 10% uh, is way too high. So lower this to something like three, four or five. And then uh, check the reduce shatter box and increase the alpha contrast a bit. Uh, and this will give the uh, edges a bit, uh, a bit more uh, contrast and uh, definition. So if we change this back to alpha once again, you can see like without the effects, especially if you look at the hair, it looks uh, much better. And the edges looks uh, better as well. And uh, I'm just going to remove this small white dot that bothers me a bit with the garbage mat. So yeah, um, so this is already like a kind of good looking key actually. Uh, especially considering that uh, her outfit is a bit problematic for keying. Uh, but uh, we're going to uh, improve this key even more. So go to new adjustment layer and rename this to Refine Hard Mat. This is also one of my favorite tools. Um, and this will also significantly uh, improve the quality of the mask. Um, right off the bat, we don't actually want any of the uh, settings here. So change everything to 0, 0, 0 percent and uncheck Reduce Shatter because we did that with the uh, key cleaner if you remember and just leave the bottom as it is and you will see the uh, before and after it's a minor difference but if you look close closely uh, you will see that it actually makes quite a difference And I'll actually just increase the uh, alpha contrast a bit here as well. Um, yeah. So uh, with that, we're just going to remove the green spill. So a new adjustment layer, rename this to spill. 
This is probably the easiest effect, as we don't have to do any tweaks to it. So just search for Spill, and choose the Advanced Spill Suppressor. And this uh, tool has basically two settings, uh, Standard and Ultra. Uh, you don't actually have to play with the settings. Uh, I would just recommend leaving the method at Ultra if you're, if you're going to have a, a bright background and leave the method at standard if you're going to have a dark background. That's basically the takeaway here. And uh, yeah, with that you get a pretty solid key actually. And um, one last thing, since she'll be sitting on the hood of a car, uh, we're, we're going to add a fake uh, CG shadow, so uh, a new layer with uh, the name shadow and apply allometry. And we're going to uh, decrease the midtones and the uh, and the highlights a bit. And draw a simple mask around her legs, uh, faking the, the light a bit. So something like this perhaps. And we'll feather this a bit to something perhaps 40. Mm, we'll do 60, I think. And then uh, lower the opacity a bit as well to 40. As long as you use multiple keys for the key light effect, you don't have to do that many tweaks. And um, uh, yeah, it's actually. Uh, Actually, not that hard, in my opinion. As long as you have uh, decently, decently lit footage. One important thing to note is that the uh, cleaner effect and the refined hard mat, um, together they can be quite computive intensive. So if you have a lower spec PC, uh, I would actually recommend uh, rendering two passes or more. So first render with uh, without the uh, refine hard mat, the uh, spill and the shadow. And just render with the key light and the uh, choker and uh, cleaner. And then import that footage uh, in between here. And then remove the uh, underneath layers and then render again with the top layers. That way your render times will be a lot quicker and uh, your computer probably won't die. And then of course uh, add the render queue, remove anything that you previously had. And you can render this with, uh, I usually go with uh, QuickTime and um, channels RGB, oh yeah, um, codec animation works. Uh, and then channels RGB plus alpha, important. Or if you're going for Blender, uh, you can go with a PNG sequence with RGB plus alpha. And then hit render. So yeah, uh, that is my method for keying uh, in After Effects. And I use this method for basically anything that I key. Um, sometimes I go with the refined soft matte instead. They both have their uh, perks and uh, cons. Keying in After Effects isn't that hard if you use multiple keys, use the uh, key cleaner, and refine hard mats. So with that, I hope you learned something from this. And thank you for watching. Uh, I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye!